Yeah, like, it kind of sucks that, you know, that should happen, but be you, sh- you really should have been up a heads up. Uh, yeah. Head for the old I don't know. I, I, I think one of my favorite videos I saw. Uh, well, other than the medic getting shot up in the chest, I'm standing uh, I saw that. I saw that. It's like a. Um, they hit him with like an SPD or something, right? What's that? They hit him with like an SPD or some shit. Yeah, they hit him with uh, I think it was an SPD and they shoot each other and he drops and you're all. And then he stands back up and without any translation you can tell one of them mutters whatever the equivalent of what the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> what the guy stands back. Like, he, gets, he gets hit in the chest, drops dead, and they're like, oh yeah, we got him, fuck it. An awesome shot, and then he just fucking gets right back up and hides, uh, gets behind the... He, he opens the door, doesn't he? Or did he get behind the armor? He, he takes behind the, uh, that gun will be as loud as any other. Did you hear the full story of that? No. He returned fire, wounded them, and then captured them and treated them. Oh, yep. 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 Nice. They found them, captured them, and shit like that. I was like, that's fucked up. Uh, uh, there was also... One other video, um, like a bunch of people were in an APC and either hit an IED or a landmine, and you just see like two bodies fly out of there. I forgot, it's not, it's not it, I don't think it was part of the Iraqi war. I don't remember what it was. And uh,. There's another one where they had set up, um, like, bulletproof glass, and someone, There's someone in there. nearly got his head taken right. off. Check out that one. The storm was That's fucking silly. What's that? That's fucking silly. Why well, he's got no pants on. Um, he's an EOD guy who was trying to defuse a bomb and went off between his legs. Holy shit. Well, he's giving an eye, flipping off the crowd. Nice. <laughs> like I said, the story behind that was pretty funny. Yeah, that's some, that's some fucking crazy shit. There was one that was posted in uh, one of the TFR video threads recently where uh, a couple of Marines, one of them catches one of the Kevlar. Like they're, they're they're clear in the structure, and it's like this this big open like hit area. And it's hard to explain because Iraqi architecture is so fucking weird. Like it's it's nothing like I mean it's like a weird corral, but it's got walls like seven feet high, and then it has some like little like sh- shed part, right? So they fucking cleared it out, and then they're going to investigate the like the north end of this one area, and there's three of them, and then the fucking second guy in the lineup fucking catches one of the cowboy. And like it went through the kelp. Like it missed his coconut, but it, it went through the kelp. It was fucking nuts. Some of that shit is just fucking crazy. There's a couple of other. Uh, there's a video taken from the insurgent side where the guy has an RPG and as he runs out into the open to line up a shot, you hear the crowd cheering. And. And a saw gunner lights him up, and uh, you see him get hit and he lands on his ass, and you know, people are still cheering him on as he tries to stand sit back up so he can aim again. And you see, you can literally see his eyeball pop Not as here. the uh, tracer hits him in the head. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's some, some pretty gross Wait, shit. What was that? Uh, RPG gunner ran out into a saw fire and caught more than a couple of rounds for it. Oh, I thought, it, I thought that was. The video were two, uh, like he got two sniper shots in the face. Not gonna happen. Ah, that's a different one. Of no, there's one you where the saw him up, up, and he. Uh, okay, boss, gets sh- over to the uh, it's kind of funny because you hear the crowd cheering okay, him on, and when he gets popped, he falls gone, backward. Yeah. You hear them go from cheering to. Ah! Um. You probably you probably been floating around for a long ass time. The okay, RPG guy, he fucking. Starts turning after he launches it and blows up the building instead of whatever he was trying to shoot at, probably killing himself. Oh yeah, he he uh, he fucking gets killed by, from the backlash from it. 
No, he he fucking turned while he was shooting, and it goes into the building that was right in front of him instead of you know uh, whatever the fuck he was trying to shoot at, and he just it the, blows up the fucking building, and he and I don't know what happens after that. I think he died from the bricks hitting him or something. Well, the the one thing I remember seeing, I want to say it was probably like it might have been like Somalia, uh, but I can't remember exactly. Dude freaking runs out into like a T section, and then there's like a building there, and what happens is the RPG shot goes wide, and it's close enough that it actually rips him apart. Check out that video. I sure I wanna. SAS gunners. And uh, he saw a troop transport dropping the troops off and he hit him with a jade in because he didn't have anything else for it. It's it. Oh! Okay. I was thinking of like a ground troop transport, not the other time. I'm like, what the f- He hit a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's why I said, oh. It's like you were talking about a helicopter, not a fucking... <laughs> the other one. That's ridiculous. Please select a landing. Landing zone confirmed. Roger that chopper request. It's headed your way now. Also, Nip, you didn't link me your fucking the home front stream. Or that <laughs> thing. Cause that's the thing, is like I keep looking through the let's play like all the shit that's being posted in and I hadn't seen it. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, like here. Here's the first episode. I'm gonna upload re upload it in a second though. Oh, okay. So if you started the thread then or are you just getting ready to? Please select I'm getting landing ready to. I'm trying to get as much clean as I can so it's not a train wreck for my first OB. This is Oracle, arriving shortly at LZ. See, I think he'll be fine. I can't, I can't watch it now because I'm gonna get confused. But like, hey, wait, that one was talking. Wait, he's not so. Who's he talking to? I was getting confused. Yeah, see, my problem is I, I hit a fucking roadblock where I have like four or five episodes of fucking Battle Zone recorded. I haven't had a chance to do any goddamn voice work. And on top of that, the one edition, it's like super time. It's very boring. I mean, it's kind of cool because it's in context, and like it, you get a lot of like story dump. But like, it's just boring. And I had to speed up so much because it's just me escorting shit. It's like, this is boring. There's no combat going. I'm not doing anything. Fuck. Mm. Oh, I'm nervous about uploading the second episode because I do a lot of hey, this is why I'm doing this on the screen. This is that's, that's actually not a bad thing. I, I like things that are basically trying to be informative about why you're doing certain things or what you're looking for. Like, I, I've noticed that Lazy's been doing that with live commentary on New Order. I personally, I, I don't know, like, I'd rather see him do post commentary because I think he'd be more entertaining for that. Yeah, his post commentary is better Oh, yeah, well, he's not trying to focus on playing the fucking game. That's why I, from the get go, I decided I was going to do this post commentary. Chico's tape. 
Yeah, see, like, that's the thing, it's like, I've been doing post-commentary, because it's like, I don't want to try and just talk for 20 fucking five minutes, because each battle zone mission is, is an RTS mission. So it takes for fucking ever. Yeah, and I, I also made the conscious decision to actually get, uh... Co-commentators for a reason, too, though. Yeah, I actually have not done that yet. I might try and snag the one guy who actually got me premium. Um, we tried getting... Uh, multiplayer to work the one night, but we couldn't get it, which kind of sucks, because I'd like to show off some of the multiplayer from Battles of uh, Aren't there, like, servers dead? Um, no, actually, they, there is a, yeah, check it out, the, the version of the game I'm playing is actually a fan-made update. Um, it is a patch that makes it run on new machines. Um, and there actually are several servers running for the maps that, uh, it's like, is, actually, hold on, so let me get the website. I mean, I have Homefront, and I only played the single player. Oh, no, I'm talking about I'm talking about Battle Zone. I'm talking about the 1998 Activision RTS. Oh, I thought we were still on the subject of Homefront. Well, um, we're we're just talking about like LPs in general and like why we're doing shit in certain ways and whatnot. A gate. Yeah, that's why you were here in Strange Don't give me shit about because I don't like my commentary throughout the episode too, and I actually wanted to redo it. Um, if you want, just fucking let me know, dude. I might have an opportunity to do some co-commentating for you. Uh, yeah, if you want to join, um, CQC and Strange have been the co-commentators for the episode so far, and with one extra. I mean, I was... I would try to do OPs, but I'm just bad at commentary, so I'm like, fuck it. Well, the fun thing about Homefront is it's really easy to do because you just make fun of it. Yeah, you'll... Click on that first link to hear us. I mean, let's put it this way. Like, it had a decent idea. I mean, how can you really fuck up Red Dawn with North Korea? But they fucked up. Obviously, they found a way. However, the second one looks really good. Yeah, well, the second one might be one of these fucking idiots. Uh, there's the second one without commentary. See, you're, you're going around. That's a decent time frame for each episode. It's about 20. 20 to 30 minutes, I think, is pretty primo. Usually anything after that gets to be too long. Yeah, I, the last episode's gonna be long, but that's because it's got the credits in it, too. Ah. Uh, okay, so, Ooh. well, yeah, you can probably speed up the credits. Is your shit, like... not handling this as well as it should? Or is it just the mm. game? It's just the game. I was running at 50 to 60. Do you do you encode it at uh, sixty though? No, I encode it at thirty. Uh, that's probably why it looks like it's dropping the frames. No, sometimes it's dropping the frames because it's dropping the frames. Oh, the first episode it was uh, reported at twenty to thirty because I had something fucked up, and we already reported the commentary, so I see it's fucking left it. How are you? Are you? How are you muxing your shit? Uh, like, are, you, are you just using like? Uh, whatever fucking programs that they mention in the tech fort. No, at the time, uh, the first episode was done with Handbrake and something else. The rest of them were written on the Sony Vegas. I've been using Vegas pretty fucking sweet. I actually yeah. upscale... Actually, wait, do I upscale or downscale? I can't even remember. Because mm. I actually think I played a game at 720, and then I upscaled it to 1080. That's not and it actually looks up pretty well. The second video, you get your episode doing all, and you can see the uh, better frame rate. Yeah, it looks a lot better. And there's a, there's a little bit of, like, loss, but again, that's the fucking game. Yeah, like, it's... It doesn't seem to skip around in the first one. That's because the first one was done, um... What was happening is I was recording out of my external hard drive. And that no, was I'm saying, the, I'm, I'm saying the, um frames don't seem to skip around like it does in episode 2, oh. but then I'm... I don't know. I could just be imagining shit. No, there's a little bit, but you don't... It, it's pretty hard to notice, but the game really is kind of choppy with it, too. It, it is. It's not... It was... I don't remember being terribly well optimized. I mean, it didn't have super major issues, but it did have a little bit of chop. Yeah, episode 2 is 37 minutes long with the uh, credit... That's not bad. Oh, you only do. Uh, see, see, seven episodes is easy to do. See, my problem is I'm having to do like 
16 episodes and then another 8 episodes, or 9 episodes I had to do for the Soviet campaign. So I got like 23 missions in too. So I was getting Speaking fucking game fatigue for Battlezone. I gotta see if my shit finished encoding. Um, Carebros, do you know how many times I've beaten Homefront? Once. Oh, you're cute. I have 3 hours in Homefront, so that is only one way to do. Yeah, I forgot how short of a game it is. Okay, guess how many hours I've got in this game. If you're gonna take only uh, 300, I should probably. Uh -huh. Well, the multiplayer wasn't awful, uh, but it would count that as well. Yeah. yeah. Just guess how many hours I've got. Uh, probably something like 20. 22. Okay. See, yeah, I was close. That's how many times I've beaten the game, by the way. I've beaten it six times. I've beaten it like six times. Why would you do that? Because I wasn't happy with playthroughs, and then I found out what was going on my FPS chose when we were recording one of the episodes. Okay, now see, I can understand that from a perspective of having a game that has checkpoints and you can't, like, do reloading of saves. Like, you can't go back to a certain checkpoint. Like, that's the thing I like about Battlezone, is I can play through each level as many times as I want, but I don't have to play through each level a billion times. Because I, I just save it. Mine, I didn't, like, uh, episode 3 I left deaths in, and some of the deaths I left, uh, episode 2's got two deaths that completely took CQC. Uh, strange little by surprise, including the last death. Well, you always gotta leave deaths in, because you gotta show them all. No, Especially the, the, funny. the last death was really funny, because I warned them about it, and said, hey, so, you know, at the end of this mission, if you're not in a specific place, they can kill you. And uh, later on in the episode, uh, especially in the recording, you'll, you know, I'm kind of dicking around just around the uh, mass grave. And I start running back, and then all of a sudden I'm dead, and it's because the helicopter spawned, and I wasn't really dead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Homefront's a bad game. And I left one death in where I walked forward and instantly died. You just hear, nah, 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 and I'm dead before I can even turn to shoot at the guy. See, what happened to me? I had, actually, what I had happen in Battlezone, I actually left them in because they were too good not to leave in. I hadn't shown off deaths yet. Um, I was doing one of the Russian missions in Battlezone, and my vehicle exploded. And I got ejected, because that's what happens when the vehicle dies. You usually get ejected as the, co as the pilot. Uh, but one of the structures was destroyed by the American forces right next to me, so I got, I blew up in there. And it was kind of funny. I left it in. There's um, a... Speaking of funny devs, we were fucking around with Half-Life 2 and one and shit. Uh... There's a... I mean, I deleted the footage because I was kind of pissed off and I recorded it too many times and I was just... Uh, yeah, I, can uh, I had a... But the footage, I really wish I'd seen it before. I deleted it and as soon as I deleted it, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, so my problem is I'm on a hard drive premium, so I have to kind of pick and choose what I keep. I've got an extra terabyte for a reason. See, I wish I did. I have one terabyte for my main, and it's segmented into two drives. And I don't like putting things on, on other parts of the drive, in case, like, eruption or whatever. So... You know the end of the first mission where you're fighting all the Humvees? Yeah. Somehow I got one of the Humvees to float midair, upside down, about 50 feet in the air. Nice. <laughs> Some Battlefield 4 shit right there. Reminds no, me of the. Uh... It was literally just hanging there shooting at me. Oh, it's oh, it actually shooting back. Reminds me of uh, War Thunder tanks, of how you just, you know, flip the tanks over. And it's just fine. You know what? The funniest kill I ever got, it wasn't in War Thunder, it was in World of Tanks right around when they released physics. I was driving my T uh, American T29. And I landed on a Panzer IV. <laughs> and, and the funny part is, my friends were laughing their ass off because they were spectating me when I was alive. Um, it was intentional. I saw the guy below me and I intentionally ramped off and tried to land on him as a T-29. Um, we were playing War Thunder the other night. Uh, some fucker more tracked me in front of the, uh, river. And, um... M4 started hauling ass towards me. I was like, oh, he's gonna try to push me into the water since I'm tracked. He fucking at speed crashes into me and then just explodes. And 
I think I was in a 28. Oh no, 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 no. Um, not a 28. Um, I think it was a T50 actually. Fuck, I don't, I don't remember. I uh, my favorite moment in playing War Thunder. I was driving a Panzer IV. I had uh, some to knock my turret ring out, and I only had half power and like crew was half dead, so I couldn't really train my whole tank to train and track people. I picked up four more kills before. Some Uh, which tank is this one? I think this is a T-34-42. One in the video? Yeah. That is a 30... Yeah, that's one of the T-34s. Yeah, he just, he just, in an early 3.7 whatever fucking Sherman just ran me full speed and exploded in my face. I was like, oh, okay. War Thunder. I mean, we play it like fucking bullshit. Uh, War Bull Thunder's pissed me off really bad. Um, I didn't want to play Russian because all my friends were playing Russian. They're just for shits and giggles. Oh, they removed that limit so you can mix and match. So no, now you have, now you can have American, German, and Russian on the same side. What pissed me off was that I was driving, uh, when I was doing it, I was driving German. And I'm driving a pre-war Panzer II against a T-34, and while historically that Ugh. kind of happened, um, that's not how you balance a game. Yeah, this game is Russian biased as fuck. I don't Mind know, you know, lie about it. I think that's right before one of the kind of silly deaths happens on my ship. Oh god, this reminds me of... What's... Holy shit, what's uh, the actual name? Derek Smart's game. Um... <laughs> 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 I got run over by my own fucking guy that I told to go somewhere. I didn't know that could happen until that happened. There's another one too. There's the other one where I get this you mission. I also get thing. ejected out of my vehicle and blown the fuck up in midair. Did you watch any of that first episode? I watched. Well, I, again, I tried watching it, and then I got really confused. I was like, wait, God damn it, Neb, what? No. What do you think of what you saw? Uh, good. It looks pretty good so far. I, I'm looking forward to actually commenting in the thread and then being chastised for not updating my own LP. Oh god, White Castle. Oh shit, what happened to your arms? That's my favorite thing to show on twice. Okay, now, here's, here's the thing though, Nev. If somebody does not make a Stripes reference when Goliath shows up, I will be upset. Uh, we actually got some reference that we weren't thinking of. Come on now, you've got what well, yourself a very heavily armed RV. And that's what it is. No, we, we constantly refer to Goliath as the only, like, bullet PC in the game. But yeah, pretty much, yes. Goliath is the only, like, bullet PC in that whole fucking game. Because like, Goliath actually does what you tell him to. Actually, you know what? In episode 2, one thing that I, uh, I surprised with Strange Love and CQC with is that I was actually giving the game credit where it was due. Um, it wasn't with the guns, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the, no, one of the better, one of the more interesting little minor details they got right. When you're going through the, uh, through the refugee camp, one of the guys is, you know, on the ground and he's praying, and when you play the game, it looks like he's digging through trash or something so you never look at him. This is my fifth or sixth playthrough in all the missions, so it's pretty awkward. And I'm just looking at random shit and I realize the guy is praying, and I stand there and I'll, you know, look around and try and line myself up, and I realize he's praying due east. Oh no shit. Um, and there's a couple of other things where we're at. Yeah, and, and we talked about the fact that uh, Hopper's the only like boy human in DC. Oh, the cop, yeah. No, not the cop, the Asian kid. Oh yeah, yeah, the Asian kid? Yeah, he dies. And we talk about in the third episode where, you know, he 
the only reason he's a likable character is because he actually kind of panics when he accidentally kills a bunch of people. Yeah. Yeah, like the one fucking dude that's chesty McFuckhard, um, the guy that's all angry and shit, and just fucking runs into shit and gets more people killed. Oh, that's it, that fucking asshole. Oh, we, we constantly mock him. Uh, check guy's out a that. fuckhead. Check out that link. This is one of the deaths I left in for episode two. You know, and we also commented that this game's soundtrack is actually really good. Yeah, it's, it, it does have a good soundtrack. Roger. It's just not very good in many other spots. I mean, it's got so many different fucking fire on variations, and they're all fucking samey. Oh, that's our... Uh, that's my major complaint through a lot of it, is that none of the guns feel distinct. No, and on top of that, they, like, have no recoil. That's why my favorite guns are the M249, because I don't ever have to re worry about reloading it half the time. Pretty much, yeah. This is Orville, arriving shortly at LZ. Also, I remember this mission. It's supposed to have a whole bunch of, like, psychological impact and shit, and it's like, guess what? Not really. Now, you'll see me fucking around. Even before I was to the point where I hated the game more than I already did, um, I was pretty bored with them, a lot of the mission. This is Warhol, on station at LZ. Where did he come from? It's manifested out of nowhere, dude. That's one of the spawn points. Put the target on the chopper. <laughs> Alright, so at about uh, 29 24 is where uh, the death scene is. Because you see me wander up just to look at the other graves and shit. Yeah. Like a real player show. Oh, yeah, exploration. I mean, you got all these set pieces. Why? You gotta go look, dude. Take a look at all the fucking hard work the game developers put in. Pop, 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 dead. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, man? God damn, this, oh, that game, is a great death, isn't it? this game is so fucking terrible. Oh my god, I remember playing this game, and I was like... I didn't think it was that bad when I played it, but then, like, then I reflected upon it, and I was like, wow, that was really not very good. When I did the first section, actually, I was impressed with the first section for moon setting. Yeah, it's it's not bad. I mean, there's no, a no, lot no, of shit. What, like, what happened is my game crashed and I had to redo it again, so I actually paid attention to what was going on. And it is so hand-tested that if you give me any more thought than the average... If you put any kind of thought into it, that intro falls apart. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it is just... It's not... No, it... I mean, it's like, hey, White Castle. I, I know White Castle. Oh, uh, first episode, there's a couple of times where I keep mentioning that uh, Mark's drug being a cute little reference, and nobody else is getting why I think it's such a blatant, stupid fucking reference that they're doing too. It's one of the first face. things you see in game is Mark's. 